Greetings Internet Dwellers, this is Soda Spartan from Mythic Gamers. Today I'm doing a small little uh, texture pack spotlight on a uh, texture pack I've been working on for a while. I finally cr I finally, uh, finally finished it. I lost motivation for a while. I was working on these connected textures here. And uh, yeah, so I finally decided, like, eh, might as well finish it. And originally I was only making it for myself, but I was like, well, I mean, I have a small... But, uh, small but existing YouTube channel. And I might as well post the texture pack I'm going to be using in literally every single one of my Minecraft videos. So anybody can use it if they'd like. It has a uh, transparent GUIs. And I have all these little demonstrations over here set up, but I don't feel like going through literally every single one of them because they're all the same. And you know what they're going to look like. It's just. Just, uh. Transparent UIs. Although I think I did just notice a little problem, like right here. It's like a very thick line right there. I'll need to fix that eventually. I just noticed that. So, funny thing with it, what happens when you're recording, huh? Um, yeah. So all these have transparent GOIs. I just said I wouldn't go through all of them, and I did anyways. Uh, yeah, your inventory, and I even have like the background of this is now tilled earth instead of dirt. Looks a little better. Yeah, and uh, has connected glass panes as well, every co every color. Uh, the only thing about uh, these is they don't work with shaders. I just tried it. I just found that out. I don't know why they don't work with shaders. I wish they did, but they don't, and it makes me sad. But I, I'm not sure. I think it's on the shaders end, though. I think it's the shaders' fault. But... Who knows? Not that many people use shaders, from, to my knowledge, anyway, so it's not that big a deal. So yeah, that's the one problem I found with it. But yeah, the uh, I have to give credit where credits due right now. The uh, the uh, GUI textures, while I created every single one of them on my own, the actual oh, oops, the actual textures are based originally on a design, not a design, a uh, I got the idea of uh, transparent GUIs from Tossy XD, like that. Um, I, I was using her or his. It, it, I'm assuming it's her because the the uh, little picture right there, where mine is my little character, my my skin. Uh, it was like a female anime character or something. Uh, so I assume it's a female, but I don't know, it doesn't matter. Ah, I, I, I can't stay on topic. Uh, so yeah, uh, whatever. Uh, credit to that person for uh, creating the pack that I used for a very long time until she stopped, until the, until the person stopped working on it. And uh, it encouraged me to learn from, like, how to make a, a, a texture pack, because I didn't know b beforehand. I learned from studying that pack to on how to how to do it myself and I made uh, I made this and uh, I was really proud of it and uh, I decided I might as well I like connected textures so I might as well make some connected texture glass that I uh, also learned from some other people that I will credit in the cre in credit in the credit I'll credit in the description below so yeah if uh, you guys enjoy the few things I have added into this pack, by the way, I might add connected textures for like andesite and like or uh, uh, metal blocks, like you know, like diamond, diamond, iron, coal, redstone, lapis, stuff like that. I might connect those blocks so it's uh, looks a little better. I'm not sure though. I mean, I might, I might not. Uh, so yeah, uh, the uh, link will be in the description to download this. And, uh, as will the credits to the people who indirectly helped me learn how to do this stuff on my own. And, uh, for lack of an actual thing to say as an outro, I'm just gonna be, uh, I'm just gonna say goodbye. Uh, goodbye.